you know, when he so, went the, uh, so here we are, five minutes later, and we're still holding 10 PSI. Mm -hmm. So that means the seal is good. So the seals are good. Everything so far is mm -hmm. good. So right now we start working on the stator housing before, you know, we install the uh, assembly in the stator housing right there. Okay. You put a terminal board back in there. Putting the terminal board back in the junction housing. What size wrench and socket was that? Uh, 13, 13 millimeter. millimeter. 13 millimeter Sorry. socket. Hand tighten. You see the stator in here. Not the really up down, upside down the stator, and then the fly stator. They have a epoxy insulation in here, mm -hmm. so they can go up to three degree now. Awesome. Glass, glass edge. Glass you edge know, insulated stator. Yeah, so a year ago, you know, they yeah, glass F, I believe, and they go up to about 250 only. Mm -hmm. So now they can go up to 350 mm -hmm. So that's a, on the fly turn and reward, you know, anything. There you go with the glass H now. Glass H insulation. Okay. okay, now he installed the uh, upper building. Here. You see that little inside? That's the upper building holder. Okay. So you have to put upper building in there. Okay, upper bearing holder. Yep. Yep, the same with the upper low bearing. He will yield a little, you know, Punch, you know, to hit in there, but get outside. Only you know. on the outside. Yeah, outside of the ring. So they had a, they go all the way inside and they had a little rule out here, you know, for the circlip, for the okay. lid, you know, to hold the building in place. So he put a circlip in there. So the little bit of room, place the clip and the clip will hold the bearing in place. Yeah. And so that clip actually sits right on, in just inside it looks like? Get inside the bearing holder. Just inside the get, bearing you know, holder. Get on the bottom of the bearing. The, again, the bearing to hold the bearing in there. Gotcha. So. Okay, you make sure you know. Okay. All right. And this one right here, that's the bearing cover. So the bearing cover just like, you know, to protect the bearing, you know. Mm -hmm. From the dirt, everything outside. Okay. So they will Bearing cover for protection. Mm -hmm. Place right on the outside. Okay. All right. And we have a little thing down here. Not the one we make. You know, the same size with it. So this was produced or made to yeah. be the same size. Same size with it to you know use this one to to pushing 
It'll yeah. allow it to be pushed on without the cover to be pushed on without damaging the cover. Yes. Okay. Right here. They have to be go very tight, you know, outside the building holder. So we have to put all the way down. How do you know when the cover is all the way down? Yeah. How do you know? Yes. Little more on the this side. How can you tell? What yeah, you, you know, because at? they they used to have they very they have to be closed like that, you know, under there. If you put your finger right here, if you see the a little bit gap, that means they they not all the way down. A gap between the cover and the bearing and, and the building holder and the bearing holder. Yes. So no gap. And no gap at all. Okay. Yeah. And you have to put your finger in there and check. Yeah, and check you know, roll around and you will check it very easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. There, good. Okay. If you put the finger just like I did right here, mm -hmm. and go around like that, okay. then you will see no gap at all. Okay. So that means the building cover right I mean the building cover right here, they all the way to the building housing right here already. Great. So see all right. Okay. Like, so you and you know they have a little room between it, so we just fill up a little bit we you know, on here, you know, to to just like the the food to protect the building, not the room for the building, not for now. A little so bit of grease for protection. For protection inside it. And that's inside. Yes. Okay. Okay. And on this kind of perm, you know, we like to install the envelope on here first. Okay. Yeah, before we, you know, put everything on the stator housing. So, right now he go ahead to uh, put the key on the on the shaft. So that is a key on the shaft being inserted onto the shaft mm -hmm. for this impeller. This looks like a channel style impeller. So this would be a flight C impeller. High head. High head. 454 impeller. 454 impeller. Edit. 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 Okay. You already cleaned up everything. They should be going in there. Make sure you know they had a little rule on the envelope go right on the keyboard. So did it matter where the impeller was positioned? Could it be anywhere? Yes, because it should be have a little. Let me so let's see little thing right here. Make sure the key just go right there. Okay, so there's the key. Oh, there is a, a, a groove or a, a slot for, for the, the key. Yes, slot for the key. Okay, I see that. One way to go. On the impeller, so there's one way that impeller could slide on. Yeah. Okay. You know, we like to put an emperor on the, the assembly like this, just because, you know, right now the shaft, you know, they stand on the, the wood. So we can use a hammer hit like here a little bit to push in the emperor all the way down without damage. So the, there's no shaft damage because the. Yeah, because everything, you know, is so resting on the, on the wood right. with the shaft in between, so we yeah. can able we can use this rubber hammer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little, little wood now, easy. A little wood. And this makes sure that the impeller is all the way on. Yes. Okay. And you will hear the noise, you know, the little noise, you know, when they go on. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah. You hear that little, little bit, bit of a ping, you know it's yeah. all the way on. A little bit more, huh? Okay, a little bit, little bit more. So, you know, we can hit in there because, you know, all right here, they don't damage anything right here, right here till free. So, it's no problem. All right, and, um, impeller bolt, impeller bolt and a washer. So, an impeller bolt and a washer. Where's the washer? Washer right here. So oh, that's a washer. big washer. Yeah, big washer to hold the impeller. Okay. Yeah. Which way is he tightening there? Right? Yeah. Wide. Clockwise. Clockwise. Yeah. Okay. You can tie a little bit, a little bit more in this one. Okay, that's good. All right. So okay. now you know he already have everything yet complete. Okay. Now he lay it down. Lay down, right? Put oil in there, right? Put oil. Put oil in there. So because we had the pressure pack, hold the pressure, everything till yep, 10 pounds. Still holding pressure. Yeah, yeah, after we do all kind of work. So then he lay it down, put oil in there. So we'll lay it down and put in the oil. Yeah. All right. Okay, lay it down like that. Put it here. All right. Put a little wood under the river. We put oil in there. Okay. Listen to all that air pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, we uh, put 9.5 pan of oil in there. 9.5 pan. 9.5 pints of oil. Yes. So that can help you. Right. you know what weight oil this is? That is a pretty good weight. Yeah, 300 weight. And uh, fit the metal cement that was on the end of the way. And then get some oil, okay? So, this is vegetable oil. Two pan, right? Two. 